Atlanta salmon, take a look. The woodlands and the rivers are calling out to me. It's the country <laughs> that I live for, the place I long to be. <laughs> Come with us, we'll take you on adventures by the score. We're the sportsmen of Newfoundland and Labrador. Hi folks, welcome to today's show. For the next few days, Jim and myself and our good buddy Pete Barfoot, we're in the beautiful city of Rossé, New Brunswick, where we're going to be doing some sturgeon fishing on the St. John River. Now these fish are prehistoric, let me tell you, and they get to be big. While the species here is not huge, the average size is about 32 inches, but you can easily get them over 48 inches. A four foot fish. Well, just imagine. Uh, and a prehistoric fish to boot, something yeah. that uh, uh, I know I myself have never caught before, you know, mm -hmm. and other than see him on TV or, you know. It's going to be so, a bit of fun. We're going to yeah. be fishing with Joe Tilly of NB Kayak Fishing. Now, Joe has had a lot of experience catching these fish. I think he's caught in the hundreds over the years. So he knows his stuff, and we're going to be depending on Joe to teach us newbies mm -hmm. exactly how it's done. So sit back and relax, and I hope you enjoy today's Sturgeon Fishing Show right here in Rossé, New Brunswick on the St. John River. Because when you get a sturgeon, they've got bony scoots down the sides. Yeah. So when you get one, just throw some gloves on it. It'll just keep you from getting your hands cut off. Okay. And grab them by the tail. Yep. When I moved to New Brunswick and I discovered what fishing is like out here, it blew me away. There's I've caught over 20 species this year in New Brunswick in the kayak alone. So instead of one rod with a simple spinning rod like I had growing up, I've got something like 17 rods now and I could probably use another five just to cover all the bases. Yeah. Oh, it is a nice one. Nitro. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. How are you? Is that a heavy action rod? It is. It's a Fenwick Elite. What is it? Is this the printer? It's the Elite Tech Fenwick. Extra mm. heavy. It's tons of strength in this thing. Big casting reel. All big casters, yeah. That's what yeah. we're using for sturgeon. Nice and neat. As far as the technique is concerned, you're just. Uh, the first step one is rigging it upright. Sturgeon are bottom feeders, so you want to get your uh, line and your, uh, your bait right down on the bottom. So what I use is I use a, a slide swivel on my main line. Mm -hmm. And then I'll show you the, uh, the hooks here in a minute. I use a three hook leader filled with night crawlers. And the, uh, the reason I use the slide swivel instead of just tying a weight onto the, to the end or the top of the hooks is because the slide keeps, keeps it from impeding the sensitivity. Okay. Uh, sturgeon, unlike many fish, will not bite and take off. You won't necessarily feel them there. No, they just nibble or they're, sucking they're, on it. They have no they're, teeth, right? No teeth, they're literally sucking the worms. So if they're just hovering over your hook and just sucking, and you've got your rod in a rod holder, you're not necessarily gonna feel it. Whereas if, uh, with the weight on a slider, it minimizes the, uh, the resistance caused by the weight. Uh -huh. You keep the rod in your hand and you're feeling for everything. And when you feel something that doesn't quite feel like current, you lift, because you might very well have a sturgeon on. So here, here's the rig here. We've okay. got, I put a double hook on the bottom like you'd see on some frog baits. Yep. Then I put uh, long shank jig hooks. 
And unlike a lot of fishing, you're not going to cast. You're yeah. basically going to lay it over the side, mm -hmm. let, it, let it drop till the weight hits the bottom. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, but it's what a beautiful morning. This is my first flick for a sturgeon in my life, so. At my age, it's not too bad, I suppose. <laughs> So you always maintain a little bit of tension on your line, do you? You you want your line to be resting on the bottom? Is there a preferred uh, depth I've of water? Ca I've caught them in five feet anywhere. of water and thirty feet of water. Yeah. Oh, there we go. You got one. Yep. Yeah, look at that. Good going. <coughs> Didn't take very long, Joe. Nope. That's because I licked my worms. <laughs> that's a baby. That's, a, that's an average. What I do is I get my rod out of the way. I get it down. And I get its tail. Oh, yes. So that's what, five pounds, six pounds? Yeah, thereabouts. Hook out of his mitt. The eye is. You can tell they're blind. Their eyes are like all glassed over. Up. There we go. Our first sturgeon. First one. Yeah. So all along the, the top of here, and then along the sides, really sharp protrusions. So holding it back here by the tail, and then supporting it under the head, you're not going to get caught up. Good stuff. So that's what you're looking that's for. That's nice to know. Off he goes. You, just take your time. you can get him up this way. I'll grab him for you. You're gifted, Jim boy. You always need to swim against the current. Feel heavy? Oh, yeah. No, much, the much bigger. That's a lot bigger. Oh, yeah. no, you got him in the... In the fin, oh, dorsal yeah. fin, is it? Way to go. Excellent. They're certainly different looking, aren't they? From what we've been accustomed to. First one ever, hey? One ever. <laughs> Can you hand me the pliers right behind? They don't want to. Of course Skill. they're hard to catch, Skill. hey? Skill. That's what does it every time. Skill. There you go, Jimmy. Never been involved with a sturgeon before. That's, you can tell the difference between the short nose and I see this long beak yeah. thing. Yeah. That's the Atlantic. It's a long nose sturgeon, is it? Yeah. Oh, Atlantic oh, sturgeon. Atlantic sturgeon, yeah. You can see the mouth there. Isn't that ugly, eh? Yeah. Seriously, isn't that ugly? Yeah. Oh, really? Look and those are barbs, and they always have four. Right, right here? Good. Yeah. Let me get out of your way. How's that going? Sandy. Therefore, no, worse for wear. first sturgeon. Congratulations, hey, Jim. Hey, come on, let's get more. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, those whiskers that hang down, they're called barbels. Yeah. They're like a catfish. They use it to sense their food. Is that what they smell with? Yep. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go. Oh. You got what? Got Have we? Yeah, we going. I'll start the line. Okay. <laughs> Is there a fish uh, tail on, though? There's a fish eye. <laughs> Feels half decent, too. Oh. Oh. Got in the back fin, is that? Yeah, that's why it feels so heavy. Well, the current is pushing against it. Yeah, exactly. Well, they, they actually school here a lot. That's why I came over here. are much bigger than the other ones. I don't know if you can see those spikes there or not, but that would rip you apart pretty quick. Oh, gee, yes. Really oh, man, are they ever, hey? Feel that up top. Really wow. That one's a bad one. That's crazy. Two Atlantic. <sighs> I don't think it's as big as yours, hey? Look at the spikes on it. Look. Now, I know that wouldn't tear you right to pieces, hey? Wicked. I thought he was bigger than that. That's where I had him well, you're fighting the hooked on the side, exactly. The side. Interesting, isn't it? 
prehistoric. Pre prehistoric, got a great sport here in New Brunswick. I'll send him back to his mama. Down to the depths again. Filled us up with bait again. Yeah, you want lots of bait. All right, so we're catching fish. I've got, oh, yeah, pull well, you got yeah, a dandy one. one. Or it's foul hooked. Somebody can have the honor to go into the back of the boat and grab it by the tail. Way bigger. I have gloves there. You want to do that, Jimmy? Got him by the tail. Yeah, that's another Atlanta. The bigger one. It's For sure. Big, he wouldn't be 40 inches. I mean, ours look small. <laughs> yes, sir, now. Okay. Dandy, way to go, Rob. That's a bigger one for sure. Amateurs. Well, well, well. well. Oh, we oh. that's bigger than your first one. He's going to grip the glove and grab that one for me, boys. Where is it? Right there. Uh, oh, never mind. Here, bring that fish. Got it. Hey. Now, Jimmy. No more too. <laughs> nice little release. Way to go. Pretty lively, yeah? There. Yeah. It's a good one, and he's sideways. Oh, yes. It is a good one. Oh, look at the size of that. That's a biggie, man. He's close to four foot. Well, he's a lovely guy, too. Uh, uh, your oar. Your oar. Yeah. You might need that. I might. It's only a difference in the snout, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Off he goes. Oh. Yes, I've got one. They nibble ever so gently, eh? Oh, he's not even nibbling. Hooked him, in, hooked him in the side, yeah. Oh, it's only a baby. You want to get a picture with it? Still a fish. Too tiny. I want the big ones. You want the big ones. You go fishing, you go hunting right from your, your backyard. Yeah. Look at With the water, you're heading on one way is up, one way is down. You got the crow's nest. Could have been worse, could have been me or you. Oh, you got one. Oh, I might here see. Yeah, yeah, I got one. Another. This is when, when I go out with other people, I'm always doing this. That same size as the last, a little bit smaller than the last one. In the mouth, obviously. I got you. You're not going anywhere. It's a smaller one, but you seen that before? Yeah. I've never noticed that before. Oh, he got me good. <laughs> Jimmy does it again. Again. Pardon me? Oh. You got a short nose, Jim. Imagine that. Talk about your fish now, <laughs> not you. <laughs> It's a bigger one. I don't want to take time away from the fish I got to no. catch. There you go. Not bad. This one, no. 
time for everything. Isn't it? Whoa! Jim's got oh, one. There you go. Behind. That's a good one. You got a dandy on Jim? I'm thinking. Your drag might be too tight. How do I slacken it? Oh, yeah. Get my arm here. Oh, yeah. Oh, can, yeah, that is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you land it on this side or not? Oh, James. Get a picture of it. Got to get a picture with that one. Get on mine. It's a bit bigger than what you've been getting, hey, boy. Whoa. <laughs> oh, you're quick. That looked like you were about to fall out, didn't they? Okay. He's the largest one we've had so far. If you bring up, give it a hard lift. They are very strong. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! All right. So, Jim, is that the, your biggest fish on a rod and reel? Oh, no. No? Oh, no. I caught. I got a salmon uh, about that size last summer. Another one here. <laughs> Rob, yeah. Rob right, got right, one right. on, too. I got another one. I better let this one go. Yeah. Yeah. Let that one go. Going mm -hmm. fast and furious. <laughs> Still haven't got nothing. Oh, oh. Now that's what I call wrapped up. Another one. My dines are fast and furious. Ah, I think I can still grab it from here. Sure. Yep. You ain't going anywhere. That's the thing. We must be getting half close to 20. Got it. It's funny, eh? You feel a bite and you bring them in and it's like... I wasn't paddling over. I'm going to have to paddle ahead there and drag my anchor ahead a bit. God. Get out of the way. It's not about the technique. Something that I haven't got done. <laughs> I forgot to bring the Barbie rod. I think you would have one if you brought you a Barbie, Barbie rod. rod. That's what it is. Like, just... <laughs> but they fight so well when they're down there. When you get them up oh, yeah, there, they're like yeah. on the surface. They Take them right out. Now. Just wrapped around. Yeah, again. You can't move. Yeah, it is. Oh, man. Look at the spikes on that. That is nuts. Well, he's so young, I guess. There you go. That is crazy to fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Look at him. Yeah. Wow. Unreal, eh? Shark teeth. Yes, sir. That's impressive right there. Run, rub your hand down it that way. Feel that. Oh yeah. Go the other way. <laughs> no. no. I don't think. I mean just look. Oh. Yeah. Something else. Yep. Back to live another day. You sure you don't want to come down here for here? This is the Pete Rapids fishing show. <laughs> Not too bad at all. Oh, nice fish. You catch many this morning? Yeah, uh, well, we got two this morning. I got a small little striper, but. Oh, you got a striper? Nothing. No, never got one. Yeah, I guess so, eh? Yeah, mine too. Yeah, mine too. Yep. Yeah. 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 Seems to be giving you a nice little battle. I'd have to get the net for this. Okay, net there, yeah. right on the seat. See him yet? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's bigger. Definitely. There we go. Not bad. No. It's just unfortunate, you know, that you caught it. But, <laughs> hey. Again. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice fish. There you go. One of the things that you guys may have noticed uh, with some of the fish we've been catching, it appears that they're foul hook. But the thing about it is that they're not really foul hook. We're using, for the most part, a one treble hook and two singles up above. And these sturgeon, they're bottom feeders, so when they're coming in, they're smelling the worm. But more often than not, we're getting them on a 
hook and then when we get into the surface we're similar to what sharks are they'll roll around and around and around and then the second hook gets embedded in their skin so we're not jigging them we're actually hooking them properly it's just that the second hook gets dug in at times not all yeah that's a nice fish that's a big fish oh yeah he's doing a lot of twisting and turning okay. i think that's the biggest one yet boys i think so i got the record See what happens when he rolls? Yeah, yeah, they get, roll the line right around him. He's got three of them in it. Yeah, and the other two are wrapped around him, right? Yeah, it's okay, take your time. Some good, eh, Jim? Oh, it's fabulous. This is excellent. Oh, oh yeah, that's, uh, that's a little better. Yep, that's what we're measuring now, just to compare mine to this one. Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> just to see how close it is. Oh, he's a dandy, beautiful fish. 37, yeah. it looked like. You're pretty good, Joe. Yeah. Yes, sir. Right so now, where body. would you measure that from? The longest, the, tip the, of the, tail, yeah. the longest point? Yep. So that's about 37, 37 and a half. Yeah. Roughly. Yeah, nice. Yep, 37. Nice. Picture time. Good job, buddy. And okay. They, we let them go. Yeah. That's one of those short nose jabbies. Lean right over. Gone. We're going, my buddy. Bow time. Leave it to you. Way to go, hey? Bow time. I said, finally got one. Joke's on you for change. Now, in the meantime, it's not in the boat. <laughs> Big as the other ones, but at least I'm catching up to Jim now. <laughs> between, all the, between all the little time cards. You got a lot of giving them. None the worse. Good one, Peter. Well, folks, something else crossed off my bucket list. I never saw a sturgeon before, only on television. Never caught one before, but the last couple days, we hooked up, I would say, about 25 times. You know, this was a great trip for us, and I can't thank enough my good buddy Joe Tilly with nbkayakfishing.ca. If you ever want to learn about the sturgeon fishing here in New Brunswick, that's the guy to check out his website. And I also want to thank his buddy Rob DeCanny. Rob provided us with this boat, and uh, you know, both of these guys are just fabulous. I also want to thank my buddy Peter Barford, who was a butt of a lot of our jokes, but I mean, hey, someone has to be. And I want to thank Jim Mansfield for accompanying me as well. Hope you enjoyed today's show. Catch me again next week, and I'll bring you some more exciting adventure in the great outdoors. Which will be as a look prehistoric. You know, you've got, uh, yeah. you got, oh God, you got, you got, you got, you got. Yeah, well. And you got one, Peter. Finally. Finally. Where's the net? <laughs> oh, you're going to want the full size of that net for that one. Oh yeah. Ready? Whoa! <laughs> Oh, you oh, made got him. <laughs> I can freeze a dozen and have a nice cube there. <laughs>